celebration and ceremony of the uniting of Craig and Connie in marriage covenant, may all who attend and see this be charged to encourage, support, and protect this relationship with loving words, wise counsel, and continuous prayer. Bless and empower each one in this matter that the covenant you seal will be forever. Holy Spirit, fill them and empower them to truly love each other as you have encouraged them to do. Let their foundation in your love pour out upon each other that others may see a demonstration of love in them and in their lives. I ask that you continually draw them to yourself and continuously reveal divine knowledge, wisdom, and insight of who you are to themselves, to each other, and to the world around them. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not love, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffereth long. It is kind. Love envies not. Love vaunts not itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave unseemly. Does not seek its own. Is not e easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in, in, in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Love beareth all things. Believeth all things. Hopeth all things. Endureth all things. Love never fails. And abideth now faith, hope, and love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Dearly beloved, we've come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond of covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given each other in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will, for children and the nurture and knowledge uh, and the love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Connie, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together with him in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful unto him as long as you both shall live? Craig, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together with her in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her and keep her in sickness and health and forsaking all others? Be faithful unto her as long as you both shall live. Will you all, will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? Please respond, we will. for work.
worse. For richer people. In sickness and in health. To the of the church. Until we are parted by death. This is my son. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Now that Connie and Craig have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Everyone can respond. Amen. 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 Therefore a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and they too become one flesh. That's Genesis 2.24. God created you as an individual, perfect by his glory and love. But God also said that it was not good for man to be alone. So he created woman to be his partner and helper. Today, as you make a covenant before God to join a marriage and become one flesh, you have chosen to symbolize that union with a sand ceremony. First, I'll pour in white sand, representing your faith in God as a foundation of who you are as individuals. Now, if you'll take some sand and put it in, representing yourself as an individual before you came to this union. some more sand representing your faith in God uh, as the foundation of your marriage. And then together, if you pour it together, to represent your joining as one in marriage completely and eternally. And last, another layer of white sand represents God watching over you and protecting you with his everlasting love. There you go. <laughs> May God bless this marriage so that you are as inseparable as these grains of sand. Craig and Connie, having witnessed your vows of love to one another, it is my joy to present to you uh, and to all gathered here as husband and wife. Make us cry. Woo! Yeah! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 That's 
ask you to join me in a moment of silence for those who could not be here with, with us to join this uh, happy moment. Thank you. If you'll join us together in the other room, we'll celebrate this wedding as we as we, as we move forward in the other room to celebrate. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>